Hey guys, happy Throwback Thursday. Here's my good luck football, my Thursday football. All right, so today's pretty big. It's short, but big. So a couple of weeks ago, I made one video that talked about the setup and that it was Colburn and Link involved in the setup. About a week after that, I made a video talking about the phone records and that I have worked for AT&T for three years and I'm pretty familiar with who has access to phone records. And when you look at all the big competitors, whether it's Verizon, AT&T, US Cellular, Singular, it doesn't matter. Um, they all run the same motif. They really do. There's nothing different. That's why CSR, sales managers, retail stores can all jump from place to place because it's all the same shit. So a couple of weeks ago, um, actually a month ago, when these phone records came out, I knew they were bullshit. I called them as bullshit. And I said, there's no way. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video pertaining to this, that these phone records are bullshit. And a lot of people doubted me and said, no, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. No, I do know what I'm talking about. I knew they were fake from day one. I knew they were fake a month ago when I did the video. And now I'm going to prove even more how they're fake. But not only am I going to do that, I'm also going to answer the age old question. How deep is Kretz? In this setup oh boy he's deeper than we think okay now um, when it comes to the setup and how deep Kratz goes what I learned about two weeks ago is that Kratz doing a favor for the defense um, typed up the phone records to make it easier for them okay that is completely unheard of I have never in my life heard of this and I discussed this in my last video, but now I have the proof of why he did it. He did it because the guy who testified or whatever is a network engineer and a network engineer has absolutely no business reading a phone record, let alone testifying in court. I know this hands down for a fact. However, I know you're not going to believe me, so I am going to call Verizon, because that's who I have, and ask them um, if it's possible that a network engineer can not only have access to phone records, but can verify phone records in court. Okay? So give me a minute, and you guys are going to be on the call with me so you can hear it. And I will prove it. It doesn't happen. Um, the other thing is, is that that is the reason why Kratz did not allow this guy um, to come into court because he could have been sued. He had no business. Whoop. I didn't get that. Whoop. Please say the reason now. Uh, question? All right. Let me get you someone who can help. For security purposes, please enter the account password. Sorry, it's taking so long. May be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. But I really wanted you guys to walk through this so you didn't think anything was cut, anything was dubbed, nothing. Find out if you are eligible for um, but to me. This really might be what Zellner's talking about, which said phone records are going to set them free. Yeah, this is pretty big, and it also proves that Kratz is involved in the setup and the planting of evidence and everything else. But, you know, there's some things I obviously don't know about. I'm not an attorney. Phone records I do know about, and phone bills I know about. Um, so there's absolutely no way this one was getting past me at all. And to be honest with you, I can't even believe the extent of this cover and this set. I just, it blows my mind. Hi, Laura. I'm actually not calling about my account, though. I just have a quick question. Okay. Okay. A network engineer, um, basically an IT guy, not a tech support, but an IT guy. He would have zero access to somebody's phone bill, correct? Like somebody else's phone bill. Yeah, it, 
They wouldn't have access to it. They wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they would not be able to go into court and verify that this is somebody's phone bill because they wouldn't have access to it. Is that correct? If if there if it's a legal situation, if the courts or an attorney your attorney goes through the motions okay. of doing um uh, um what's the word uh. A subpoena. Yeah. It's like, whoa, goodness, I'm blind. <laughs> um, if they did that, then yeah, they could. But, I mean, that's like a lot of money to lawyers and all of that stuff. But I'm saying they wouldn't use a network engineer guy. No. Okay. No, I mean, it, it depends on the, I mean... Is the kind of give me the Reader's Digest version so I can give you a clear okay answer. So the Reader's Digest version is I don't know if you have seen Making a Murderer. Um, and have you seen the show on Netflix? Yeah, I have. Okay, great. I am actually doing a video right now on YouTube, and one of the things that I learned this morning is that the telephone guy that called in to verify these phone records that Kratz had actually forged um, was a network engineer guy. I worked for AT&T for three years. There's absolutely no way that a network engineer guy would be calling to verify somebody's phone records. So that's what I was calling to double check. Right. Okay, so I am correct. You have to be correct. You are correct. Okay. There are, I mean, there's ways of things being pulled out, um, but we don't even give out call records over the phone. Okay. Period. Okay. Where you could get into a tr into trouble is that if you give out somebody your password for My Verizon, or if you're um, if somehow or another you're pished. That somebody sends you an email and you log into it and give them your credentials. You could, they could get in into your call records that you have available in My Verizon. Okay. So but what you're going is that somebody couldn't call me and say I want a phone number for da da la la la. I'm gonna say go kick rocks and go get in a go get a subpoena. We're not giving you out anything. Or in really in all honesty. You could ask me for a call, a phone number, and I wouldn't be able to give it out to you. I would say you have to log into my Verizon. You have that available to you. Yes. What I'm saying, though, is that if I was to subpoena Verizon for my phone, or a lawyer was to subpoena Verizon for phone records, um, Verizon would not have a network engineer go to court or call into court. They would have somebody that's qualified to look at, at bills and phone records. Okay, that's what I was asking. All right. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. all I needed. All right. <laughs> Thank Have you. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye now. Okay, so there's my proof, guys. And that was cool that she knew making a murderer. Um, so that's right there. I'm going to upload that on the website. You'll be able to hear it on the website. I forgot to ask her if she's okay with it, but oh well. Um, and yeah, so... You want to know how far this goes? This goes to Kratz Forged Phone Records, then got some network engineer guy, which is absolutely pointless. You just heard. They don't have the capacity to go into court and lie, which is why the guy didn't go into court. So that's all I have for you today. I have some work to do, get my kids, and I will speak to you guys tonight. Peace out, and that's it.